Hi and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be coming in with the wonderful winter time and I'd just like to say thank you for all my, to all my subscribers and to all my new subscribers. I know it's yesterday that it's going up again, subscribers. So I'd just say a big thank you to all my new ones and to all my ones that come back to watch me. Um, and anyone that wants to share my videos feel free to do so so hopefully it will spread the word out about my channel a bit more like and share my channel thank you very much um, so as I was saying coming back in with the um, free magazine no the free kit from the magazine um, the Christmas one the Christmas well not Christmas magazine issue 79 with this um, woodland story winter time so I'm going to come here I'm going to use this one the top layer top set so I'm coming in with the little bunny rabbits and the little mice and the little sleeping bunnies at the bottom there and that's the printed cardstock there with the mice with the mistletoe and then if I can grab the foiled cardstock with the little bunnies on and all these designs here look like they're knitted like jumpers or cardigans which is very cute and then I've got the paper but on the back of this one it's got all these little designs which I don't know whether I'll be fussy cutting them out and then you get these with it and then this one as well so I'm not sure whether I'm going to be cutting any of them out to be honest on this these cards that I'm making today so I'm just going to put them all over to the side for now and the one I'm going to be using today is the mice at the bottom here so I'm going to grab the sheet of card that I need which is this one place that one over to the side and this card here is a 7x7 seven seven tent fold which I've already prepared and cut down so it's like a cat flap card so I've cut one inch off of this side and then I've done along at the four inch mark there and cut that bit off there and I did have a piece of gold mirror that I got down so I'm going to get started on doing all the trimming up for this so I need to open my trimmer and then I need to be two notches under the seven by two notches under the seven. Okay. And then for the inside bit, I need this side. So it needs to be four notches under the seven. Okay. By you see now because I want to try and keep this bit and some of this on so if I do that at four it's going to cut all of that top bit off decisions decisions um, okay let me try this so I've gone down to the seven and a half mark to see if I think that's going to work and then I go down to the four notches under the seven so I get a bit of the blue on both and then these can be used, little bits can be used as a border if I need them. So that is going to go onto there hopefully like so and then for the other bit that I've got probably going to be I'm trying to decide whether I want to use this one for the actual where's my card so that's going to go under there like so but 
do I want to use the bit of blue or do I want to use something totally different so look at these papers mm, no not that one that's my insert so I move them out of the way get parchment with these as well I don't know if I want to use the parchment I don't really have anything that goes with that so let me see let me see let me see where's my bit that I've just cut off here we are so this little bit at the front is can't remember what width it is now so it's three by seven that little bit there so I need a bit of gold mirror that is three by seven anyway so two notches under the seven by two notches under the three which would be that bit there and then I'm just trying to decide whether I want to use this bit because it's not going to get seen and I don't want to cut too much of that away so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with this blue and I'm going to cut this to four notches under the three by four notches under the seven and then that will go onto there like so so I can save that bit and that bit for the next card um, Now, where's that top of sheet gone? Let's bring you out again. Let's see if I want anything else to go on there. I think we're going to leave that bit like that and then we're going to come in with the sentiment which is winter wishes and then I'm going to move this out of the way for the time being because I don't need that at the moment so I just need to get my glues so all clout all purpose and clout tacky so I need to come in with my clout all purpose and then the tacky glue on the corner so these ones these cards I'm making I did do a little bit of prep this morning while I was watching hunky dory but I wasn't, I mean I prepped all the cards ready that I was going to make but I didn't know how I was, what design I was going to be using so I mean I don't do a lot of fussy cutting anyway so having these bits was probably something that I wouldn't use I'm not, a, I'm not a lover of um, like cutting stuff out like this because I'm not very good at cutting straight lines and I'm not very good at cutting or you always end up cutting someone's head off or the arms so I tend not to go with that fussy cutting technique I have done it on some of my cards but 
um, I think I did it on a fairy one a little while back. So I'm just putting tacky glue on the back of here now. Not too close to the edges. And then tacky glue on here. On the corners. And then place this onto here. Hopefully. Go in place, there we go. Give it a bit of a press down and then come in with this. Again on the back. A little purpose glue on the back. And then place this down onto here on the front. Oh, I forgot the tacky glue that time. Not to worry, it will still stick. And then we take this frame. So I want the outer frame, the main frame, as I say. But I don't need this little the inner frame. So I'm going to put that to the side for the moment. So I need this one, but I don't need it to go all the way around. Got these little foam strips here, although this little strip of foam pads is really starting to annoy me because they're not coming off very well on this strip. I'm not coming off how I want them to, they keep ripping. And hopefully this one is better. Some of them are a little bit pesky. So I don't need to go all the way to the bottom all the way around the bottom because it's not going to be seen I mean it's it's not going to go all the way across that it's just going to be sitting on the front of there so I'm just going to peel that off and peel that bit off hopefully I haven't put too much on there which I haven't Try and straighten that up, my card up a little bit. And then press that onto there, like so. Then I need some foam pads to put along the middle. Sorry, that was my phone buzzing in the background. Just got a message from a friend, so I'll check that in a sec. Um, just placing these along there. Hopefully, I haven't put too many on there. It should be fine. Yep, yeah, that'll be fine. Bear with me a second, guys, while I just check my phone. Okay, I'm back. So I'm just peeling off these backings on these foam pads. I'm going to put some oops, of this on here, tacky glue, on the back of them, bring my card down, oops, and place, yep that's cool. That looks good to me. And now get a foam pad to go on the back of here. I have these little square ones which I can't remember where I got these from. Could have been a number of places where I've been when I used to get loads of stuff when I was first started up. 
Oops. And then place this one right across the middle and then all I've got to do is put some gems on this one. Oh no, the other tag thing on here. Whoops, I've got this frame on the floor. A mini frame. So I'm just going to put this one on. Time spent with you is the most precious gift at Christmas. Let's finish these foam pads up. Okay. Put the tacky glue on the back again. Do 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 and then I'm just gonna place that this there like so and then I'm gonna come in with a bow and what colour bow do I want? What colour bow I don't know a white one Put a white one on there. Hmm. Let's put that one on there. I need my glue dots because these are the only ones I use when I'm doing the bows. I still really need to learn how to make my own bows. I will do one day. I've got a bow maker. But I'm just not... I've tried, but I've more fingers and thumbs, me. I'm trying to make bows. So I'm going to stick that one on there. You can go in the bin because I've finished. I'll put some gems on there. Or I can just leave them without, because sometimes putting gems on, you don't really need gems on there. You can just leave it without. And let me have a look on this other sheet of paper, whatever it is. One that's got the other characters on the back. I'm not done with that now. Oh dear, they're all gone. Getting in a right to an eight over here I am today. Lost a piece of paper. You're my background one, I don't want you, I want the other sheet. I put that one, I want the other one that goes with that, but I don't know what I've done with it. Where did you go? Don't know, I've lost a sheet of paper guys, I don't know what I've done with it. I'm losing the plot, I think. Gone. I'm just not seeing it. No, found it. Oh dear me. I found it. I was going to cut some presents out, but I don't know. I might use that for something else. I'm going to leave that as it is. So. 
Um, yeah, I'm not going to do anything else with that one. I'm not even going to put in gems on that one. So I'm going to put that to the side and I'm going to get sort of tidied up and set up for the second card. And hopefully I'll find everything that I need. I'll be back in a sh few bits. A few bits, a few secs. Okay guys, I'm back. So, I've got an 8 by 6 tent fold card. And the, this card is from Hunky Dory. So it's already pre-scored, pre-folded. So for this one, I'm going to come in with Mum and Dad Bunny. So I'm going to sit on like that, I think, she says. So I need a bit of gold mirror to start. I'm just going to move my card out of my way for a minute so I don't get that in a mundle. So I need to go two notches under the eight for the um, width and then two notches under the six. Yeah. Just checking because when I do smaller cards I forget the measurements and which way around I'm supposed to be cutting and I end up cutting it all wrong. So two notches under the six for that. So I'm just going to bring my card down now so I can layer this onto here. So for this one, I'm not going to be using the pattern side because I'm going to use that on a different card. So this one, I'm going to do two notches under, yeah, two notches under the six that way by, I mean four notches under the six, sorry, by two notches four notches, mm, duh. two notches, oh, not again, four notches under the six, four notches under the eight. So it's the same as this, but you cut two notches off, so you've got four notches off, so you get the little border of gold showing. That's what I was trying to say. And I think that is all cut in for this one. Um, yeah, it is definitely all cut in for this one. I don't think I need any more cut up or cut out. Okay, <clears throat> so now I need my topper sheet. I've lost that again now. I'm always losing stuff on here on this desk. And I'm hot. And I'm hot. And she's sweating. And my fan makes so much noise. I have to tilt it up because it just rattles, does my head in. So let me just put this bit together first. Oh. So I'm just going to cut this, uh, cut this, I'm just going to glue this rather. With my all purpose, and then with my tacky glue, bring in that old foil. So, and then we can put this on the card blank. So, 
tacky in the corners again. Make sure the card is up the right way. Otherwise I'll be putting it upside down or the wrong way around. And I want it to open up so that the knitted version is on the right hand side and the panel version, panel part of it is on the left. So now I need my topper. These are quite a big, these toppers are quite big to be honest. This one is. And you can't really make, well you could do a 6x6, six six. you could just do a easel card or reverse easel card. I don't know if I want that bit. I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to put some of this, if I can get these off again, and this, they play up. Which they do because they're starting to rip for some reason, I don't know why. Leaving bits behind. Just a pain these are. Because I don't know why they're ripping all the time. The other one, the other sheets that I've got, I was using prior to this one, it was not ripping. This one's just ripping it all. Just getting on my nerves. This sheet of them. I'm probably going to end up throwing this sheet in the bin before long. But I'm just going to put one foam pad around here. Or one foam strip around that bit. And the same with the top and the bottom, whichever way you want to look at it. These foam pads, foam strips are not the best of strips, to be fair. Probably one of my worst purchases I've ever brought. Okay. So now we've got that on there, now I've got the fun part of taking all these backings off of these. So, as I was saying, I watched Hunky Dory this morning. I placed an order yesterday with them and I really wanted the Crafty Planner or whatever it's called and they'd sold out on both um, Hunky Dory and on Hobby Maker but I don't really watch Hobby Maker to be fair um, I just watch Hunky Dory I don't have enough time to watch Hobby Maker as well I've watched a little bit of Hobby Maker now and again but I don't, it's not something I would sit and watch. I think they do the same things. They have like Anne Marie and Cat and all the others on there. Um, where am I going to put this? Oh, yeah. Just going to place that there. Okay. Bring this in. And I'm going to use. Right, I'm going to use my foam reel, so excuse me while I get it off my light, because I put it on my light out of the way, over my light. And these foam reels are just from the works, so they're not over expenses, I think, a couple of quid. You get these and the foam pads that I was using earlier. Just makes it a little bit easier when you're doing dealing with big toppers and you're not, you know, you're sticking them on a easel card or whatever. Even on easel cards, sometimes they're good as long as you remember you're not going all the way up with them. Okay, so I'm just going to place this in the centre and hopefully it's straight yeah. 
and I don't have a sentiment Ooh. don't have a sentiment for these but if you want a sentiment you can easily so I'm just going to do a border okay um, a trimmer so yeah um, for a sentiment I'm going to, I'm going to take my sentiments so you can I don't know, take a sentiment out of there because this doesn't have any more sentiments on it it just has all the tags now uh, toppers now and a couple of like tags or buttons or whatever you want to call them um, let me see so it's got the little bunny there, that one there, and then this one here. So, and then the little parcel. So there's not very many um, on there that you could actually use. So that was half an inch, wasn't it? So now I need to take this above, two notches above half an inch. Put that there. And then I need to take this two notches above six which is probably there just to put this on as a border and hopefully oh no that's not right oh, that's too big stick this on here this one didn't have any borders so I'm making my own border so the little um, gold strip was half an inch this one was two notches under half an inch the little knitted pattern I'm just going to place it on there I'm going to place it, do I place it flat? Yeah, let's place it flat. Bring this back in so I can get this well, won't it? Round about there. Okay, so that looks cool, doesn't it? Improvise. And then I'll find my book of Christmas sentiments. I'm hoping it's matastic. Although it doesn't really matter because this is matastic, but I don't think I have a matastic Christmas one. Let me just have another look. No. Don't have a Mattastic Christmas one. I'm hoping that they're going to get the Mattastic Christmas book back in in um, stock. I hope, but who knows? Actually, instead of using that, I've got a sentiment one that is just Christmas, which I've not used yet. Stay, and they've got them colours in there, so I could put Merry Christmas, Season, Seasons Greetings, Christmas Cheer, Christmas Magic. What else have I got in here that might go with this? There's a dancing, there's a tree in the background. Mm -hmm. and that's relations, relatives.
I know I've got some cut ones somewhere, but I don't think that any of these are Christmas ones that I've taken out of books. No. Okay, nothing in there either. Let's put you back there for a minute. Okay, let's rip you out then. Okay, get my trimmer back out. And we're going to go, so I tend to go right, oops, I tend to go right across. I could get my scissors and use my scissors, but I think this will do it a bit better. So I'm going to go with Merry Christmas along the bottom there. And then I think. Well, I'm going to put Merry Christmas up the top and then on the next line down the bottom down the bottom, down the bottom Merry Christmas and oh what fun because they seem like they're having a lot of fun don't they dancing around there they seem to be excited about Christmas so these other ones I'll just use them in something else when I need them so they never go to waste I'm just going to put that down there and for this one I'm not going to glue them I'm going to use my dotty tape pen just because it's paper bring this back in stick that right down the middle there where's my other one gone that's up here put this one up the top Merry Christmas oh what fun there we go just simple straightforward well say simple straightforward it was simple it would have been straightforward if I'd got all my bits out and if you want to you can put some gems on there or you can put a bow I might put a bow actually I don't use bows I need to start using ribbon really because I keep forgetting about my ribbon let's have a look at what bow I've got Oh look, I've got a nice shiny gold one here. How about a gold one? Yeah, I'm going to use this gold one. I'm just going to cut a little glue dot off of there. Stick onto my bow. And then place this in this corner. So again, another one without any gems on. As I say, you don't need to put gems on. You can do if you want. So let me bring in the first card. That's the first card. That's the second card. And then the other one. The other little bits, I can just make them off. But you'll see them on my Facebook group which is where I put most of mine. I do have a Pinterest as well. If you want to look that up, I'm sure it's on my more information on my channel that I've got a Facebook group that you can 
join if you want to see the cards that I've made. Um, yeah. And I do have a Facebook page as well, but I don't go on that very often. I forget about it, so it gets a little, little bit neglected. Pinterest gets a little bit neglected. Excuse me. Gets a little bit neglected as well, because I don't have much time to post what I've been used. But when I do remember and I get around to them, I'll put all of them on there. If I can remember, sometimes I forget, so... Yeah, so that is it for this video guys, once again thank you for watching, um, do appreciate every single one of you for your support and all your messages, um, I do answer to you, I do get back to you at some point through the week or the day, depending on when I see the messages, so until next time guys, take care and keep on crafting, bye for now.